Welcome guys, so for this project, first I did some study drawings and painted my own reference. This way I took care of the ideation part of the project and made these major decisions for the artwork. Although I knew I'm not gonna follow the reference 100% but it still will be there to guide me. So let's begin. For the head, I'm adding a low poly sphere, masking this area in side view and extending this part for the jaw with the move press. Cranium needs to be bigger. It also is wider at the back. Adding a low poly cylinder for the neck. It should be a bit curved. Extending this area for the shoulder. It's a trapezius muscle. Now I'm gonna join these two. Voxel remesh and then smooth. Add a sphere for the ears. It should be placed at an angle like this. Adjusting its shape and mirroring it. Defining the jaw with the crease brush. and the side of the face with the flattened brush. Indicating the general region of the eye line, brow ridge, and the zygomatic arch. Extending the muzzle of the mouth, roughly placing the eye socket here. Since this is stylized, the proportion of the anatomical parts are simplified and streamlined and sometimes exaggerated even. Adding volume for the eyes, sphere for the nose. It's kind of a diamond shape. From bottom view, the nose creates this triangle-like shape. Roughly defining the mouth, lips and upper part of the chin with the crease brush. At this point, I'm not worried about the smoothness. Uh, it can be achieved later easily, you'll see. Uh, defining the mouth a bit more. The ears are specially simplified since it's a stylized character. So there won't be any tragus or anti tragus and the concha, these parts are not there. Now I'm gonna join the head and the ears and voxel remiss at a bit higher resolution than before. I can add more details now that I have more resolution. The proportions are different in stylized characters. It varies from style to style, but generally speaking, the eyes are bigger, nose smaller, lips are simplified. Adding some volume for the chin. Now I'm drawing the eyelids. and masking this part. Now I'm gonna place this sphere for the eyeball. And then mirror it to the other side. Adding a sphere for the upper torso 
and adjusting its shape like this. Drawing a curve for the arm with the tube tool, I'm purposefully placing it away from the body. Otherwise, the body and the arms will be merged in a weird way when I voxel remace this later. Flatten the lower part with the project tool and now voxel remace and smooth. Drawing some guidelines using the new quadrimesher add-ons curve guide tool. I'm gonna remesh at 4000 poly count. Looks okay, but not 100% perfect. Uh, then I'm gonna unwrap the mesh, subdivide and project from high res. I'm gonna repeat the process four times. This has automatically made the model smoother and the forms look cleaner. It has done 70% of the job on its own. Now I'm just going to clean up and define some forms manually. I'm going to bring the arms closer to the body using uh, the gizmo at the shoulder joint. Drawing mask and extracting the masked area for the eyebrows. Using the tube tools curve to draw the eyelash shape and then changing its thickness by enabling the radius option. Editing the profile like this and it's done. So I made an alpha for the iris. Then using the stamp brush with this alpha like this. Cleaning the edges up and then mirror. Masking this area for a dress. Then extract the masked part with thickness. I think it's important that I mention it. Uh, I'm using tons of references. Even for the folds of this dress. Although I'm not gonna add too many folds here since uh, the focus of this artwork is the face, not the dress. First, I'm adding a base mesh sphere and manipulating its shape to add base volume. Then I'm using the tube tool and these edited profile presets. Then from there, it's just uh, editing the thickness, curves, and positions. Then closing them before validating. I'm using my references here too, uh, not making anything up. I'm repeating the same process for the rest of the hair. I've switched to PVR, added a basic 3 point light setup and dimmed the environment. Changing the background color, adding a sphere of the same size as the eyeball, set the material to refraction, paint glossy, absorption to white and index of reflection to 1.0. Then I'm painting the iris with the same alpha, adding a lighter brown color at the center and black for the pupil. Then mirror it on the other side. Now I'm painting the lips with the red color. So subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you in the next video.